walking around. Last time we were seeing all those big fish. All those fish. That's a good Where picture. do we go from here? We could When you're in Naples and you're looking for a little bit of adventure, look no further than Collier Seminole State Park. This park has lots of things to do. There's a lot of vegetation, a lot of birds, and the one thing you have to be careful of is when you're hiking, always be aware of your surroundings. You know, one of the things that I keep noticing are you can get lost in here. I mean, you're in the Everglades. There's a lot of snakes. There's a lot of bugs. You always have to have plenty of uh, bug protection. Always dress right, too. And uh, you never want to hike alone. You certainly want to hike with a group because it is always safer. So we're going to continue the stroll here. But as you can see, it's beautiful. And there he is, the butterfly hunter. As, as dirty as it looked, I bet you would only have to filter this once before you could drink it. Have a drink. No, I'd need to filter it. One of the things you certainly do not want to forget when you come out to the Everglades at Collier Seminole State Park is do not forget the bug spray because the bugs can get nasty here. And as you look around, you really see nothing but trees and vegetation. So you always want to make sure you know where you're going so you don't get lost. That has happened before. There's lots to see, but you never know what you're going to see. There's panthers, black bear, pythons, anaconda, snakes of all kinds. So you do want to keep your eyes and ears open. And it doesn't hurt to clap once in a while. It scares the bears so they take off. You never want to come upon a bear and its cubs, that could get a little bit uh, messy, a little ugly. Okay, we're still walking and we just hit a beautiful path right here. Check this out. Of course, nobody sticks around for Mike. They keep walking, so hey, happens, you know. See, one of the things you can enjoy when you're going on a hike oh. is you get to agitate the people you're with. <laughs> Behind me here you see a lot of marsh and uh, just open plain field. This is the way it would have looked probably 500, 1,000 years ago, untouched, unspoiled. And that's why I like it out here. It's, it's just beautiful. And uh, the vegetation is just everywhere. As you can see, mosquitoes are flying all over me and I'm covered with bug spray, but they keep coming back. You never know what you're going to find here. There's fish jumping, alligators out there. You have to be careful though because they're pretty quick. You know, with today's technology, when you're coming on a hike, a simple smartphone comes in handy like you wouldn't believe. You have a compass, a camera, SOS, all kinds of applications. And actually, if you get in a bind, as long as you have service, you can... Uh, download the application. First aid. Just gotta keep your mind about you. That's the key. Well, I just saw an interesting sign. It says that there's a lot of Florida panthers in here, but they come out mostly at night. And being a protected species, you're not supposed to hurt these animals. They're all protected. And the sign said that if you're attacked, they're going to allow you to fight back. I feel so much better knowing that. I have to say, if you want to get away from it all, relieve some stress, the three mile walk through Collier Seminole State Park is a great park. Uh, you just do need a lot of bug spray, water, and always want to go with a group because it can get dense in there. So we're just about finishing up here. Of course, the way up ahead, they keep leaving me behind, which is a no-no. So, other than that, uh, next stop, I think, is going to be the Iron Rhino. 
Well, after a full day of hiking in the Everglades, we're going to head into the Iron Rhino. Right here. And at the end of the day, the best part is going through the Everglades. Cold refreshments. Salud.